making your own stencils. That is something most airbrushers wish they could do. Considering stencils like the ones I'm about to draw here cost up to 10 euro a piece, a cheap laser engraver might not be such a bad investment. Now to clarify, I'm not selling any of this guy's designs that I'm about to copy here. I just want to show you how to replicate any stencil you see online. The first step is to insert an image of the stencil you want to copy. It's important to follow every step I show here. If you insert the image in, on the wrong plane, your finished file won't work. After inserting and calibrating your image, it's time to create a sketch on the same plane. Then use the fit point spline tool to trace your entire image. You don't need to be very precise because we can adjust the fit point spline when it's finished by dragging the points around to fit the stencil perfectly. And I'll show you how to do that as well. If you need to trace a perfect circle, you can use a circle tool like I do here and just add it to your sketch. This stencil doesn't have any straight edges, but I'll show you how to add those here. Select the line tool, and I'll just draw a straight line right there. If you leave it like this, the laser will just cut it off and it will be separated anyway. But if you want to remove it, you need to select the break tool. You can't remove just this part alone, it's connected to the rest of the stencil. Select break and use it like I do here. And now you can remove it. Here I'm adjusting the fit point spline. So it fits perfectly to the stencil we're trying to copy. You can do that by grabbing the points and dragging them in place.
To use your file, you'll need to export it as a DXF file. But the free version of Fusion 360 doesn't allow that. As you can see, it's uh, great. You can work around this by clicking as I do here, and then right there, you can select DXF. When you press save, you can see DXF is selected and you can export. Now I'll show a little fin as well. Once again, insert an image, select the top face, and calibrate. To get around sharp corners, select something random and then again fit point spline and just continue. After you've exported your drawing as a DXF file, you can just insert it into Lightburn or whatever app you're using and start cutting. To cut out my stencils I use a cheap laser called the Orter Laser Master 2. It costs about 200 euro straight from China. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. I cut all my stencils out of plastic office dividers like you see here. These cost about 3 euro for a pack of 20. They do not hold up against chemicals, but the paint I use rubs off with a wet cloth. If you have any questions, please do ask them in the comments. Thanks for watching.